NVIDIA introduced the GeForce GDX TI 1050-1050 first test in Mark 11. NVIDIA likes from time to time to surprise not only their fans, but the writing fraternity, which sometimes until the last moment unaware of plans to green the release of the new GeForce. The official announcement of the Duo Accelerator's NVIDIA GDX TI 1050-1050 gamers waited October 25. but the corresponding page appeared on the portal geforce.com today. In general, please love and favor 1050 GeForce GDX and GeForce GDX 1050 Ti. Range GeForce GDX 1050 Ti. Cards NVIDIA Reference Performance, Founders Edition, We Are In Sale, Most Likely, Will Not See, Therefore, is to focus on recommended characteristics of normal and titanium versions of the GeForce GDX 1050. At the heart of both graphics cards lies a 14 nanometer graphics processor Pascal GP107, full version of which has six multiprocessor clusters and labeling GP107-400. This chip became the first 14 nm GPU green camp, and, as you might guess, without Samsung and its 14nm Fin FET norms are not done. The die area is 135mm2, and the number of transistors 3.3 billion. Model GeForce GDX 1050 Ti, GP107-400, operates with 768 stream processors, 48 texture units, TMU, 32 blocks rendering, ROP, and 128-bit memory bus. which interacts with the buffer VRAM chip's GDDR5 total volume of 4 GB. The frequency range of the core card's GDX 1050 Ti from 1290 to 1392 MHz, memory operates at a nominal frequency of 1750 MHz, effective 7 GHz. Formally, the video card does not require a separate power connector, but a top-end solution GeForce GDX 1050 Ti largest manufacturers of discrete graphics will get a 6-pin PCIe power. In the family of graphics cards GeForce GDX 1050, GP107-300, devices with additional food will probably be less despite the same level of power consumption is 75 watts. The usual 1050 are limited to 5SM blocks instead of 6. 640 CUDA cores, 40 TMU, and 2 GB of GDDR5 memory, 7 GB slash S on contact. The GPU is slightly higher than the TI version, from 1354 to 1455 MHz. It is likely that in games GeForce GDX 1050 with the function of dynamic overclocking GPU boost 3.0 will be able to exceed 1.5 GHz in the core. Blocks rendering card the same as the older 32 PCs. The same applies to the bitness of the memory bus, 128 bit. The standard version GeForce GDX TI 1050/1050 seem to exist only as thumbnails. The standard version GeForce GDX TI 1050/1050 seem to exist only as thumbnails. In the marketing material compares the Nvidia GeForce GDX 1050 with a rather old model of GeForce GDX 650, although to choose a gamers will likely have between GDX and GDX 1050-950. Novelty should easily handle current games at a resolution of 1920x1080 pixels. However, in some cases have to sacrifice quality in-game graphics. GeForce GDX 1050 Ti the above mentioned will not be a problem, and the opportunity to play in the resolution of 2560x1440 will depend on the optimization of a game. GeForce GDX 1050, Performance Many NVIDIA partners ASUS, EVGA, Gain Ward, Galax, Gigabyte, INNO3D, MSI, Pallet, PNY, Zotac and others ready in the near future to offer gamers the models of the GeForce GDX 1050 Ti and GeForce GDX 1050. Boosters with the suffix Ti will arrive worldwide on October 25, as mere GDX 1050 November 8. 
Recommended prices for these cards for the Russian market, respectively, equal to 10490-8490 RUB and RUB to the USA excluding taxes GE Force GDX 1050 Ti will be sold at a price of $139, and the GDX 1050 a minimum of $109. Nvidia